Hi, if you've been looking for a kid-friendly kit, or if you love pandas, then I have the perfect solution for you. So I'm going to be talking about the Panda Friends Kit. This is one of the relatively new kits that Stamping Up put out, and it is so easy to put together. In fact, I don't know if you noticed, but in 2024, at the beginning of the year, uh, Stamping Up came up with a bunch of kits that are more kid-friendly. So everyone thank you for joining me i'm becky tovis with crafty chamarita this is my first live that i'm doing since i got back from houston from on stage and what a fantastic experience uh, that was so for the first time ever i got to walk across the stage um, for my fifth anniversary was stamping up and that was such a thrill um in one of my previous posts i put down um, that uh, when I attended my very first on stage, which was back in 2018, that was the year that I joined, I remember sitting in the audience and thinking, I want to walk across that stage too, because it symbolizes some kind of accomplishment. Now, granted, my accomplishment was minor. It was just being with the company for five years, but you know what? I'll take it. So anyway, uh, it's great to be back. My uh, stamp area is still a mess uh, because they did the retiling on the floors when I was gone. Um, the tiler, the tiles uh, popped up after the typhoon because of water damage. So I figured the best time to take care of it is when I'm gone, so that uh, I won't be, um, I won't feel the heartache of not being able to craft for the couple of weeks that it took uh, to work on it. But it just means that things are still a mess. Things are still in a, their boxes and stuff like that. So slowly but surely. Uh, I'm getting it back in order. So thank you for joining me, whether you're watching me live or you're catching me on the replay. All right, so let's take a look at the kit. Um, sorry, let me put this down. I know I had to set up everything, um, you know, thanks to my husband uh, for helping me. So some of the things are still not working um, as well as I wanted, but that's okay. I sent an SOS to my son and I said, uh, when you get a chance, please walk me through it because thing, things are not, some things are not connecting. Hi, Tree. Thanks for joining me. All right. So I don't know if you have this kit. This is called a uh, Panda Friends Kit and it looks like this. See, very cute. My daughter loves pandas. So when this kit came out, I knew immediately that, that this was something that um, she would really enjoy. So these are the cards that... Um, the kit makes it makes eight cards. It's a non-stamping kit, so you don't have to worry about blocks and um, and um, ink pads. I just noticed my head is being cut off. See, that's one of the things that I need to fix. So normally, I'm looking at my laptop. And I can share the screen with my main computer, which is what's running it, but they're not communicating. So um, my head is a little bit off, but that's okay. All right, so let me show you what's in the kit. All right, so the kit comes with, of course, the adhesive that you need. So it comes with these dimensionals and then it also comes with these sparkling gem uh, embellishments. And then it comes with the card bases. So it comes with four of these. This is Flirty Flamingo. And it comes uh, with these other two, ba uh, four bases of this. I use, I'm using two of them. That's why there's only two here. Um, but it's a slimline card. So this one is a longer uh, card than what we're normally used to, but I think it's still, uh, still cute. And then it comes with these cutouts, lots of pandas, very cute. And this is a card front for one of the, the kits. And then you can very easily, you punch this out, and it only uses this part of uh, this card front. So this piece you can use to make alternative cards, which is what I'm going to show you um, after I'm done demonstrating um, because I was able to make some alternative cards. And then it comes with these um, speech bubbles in different languages. And if you don't want to use the ones in the other languages, just flip it over and use the back side, which is what I did for my alternatives. This is also part of the card front. Um, what color is that? I, one thing I love about the way Stamping Up does things, it tells you all the colors that it's using. So this one, the green one, is Lemon Lime Twist. It's a very bright, happy color. And then it comes with these cool envelopes. Look at that, right? 
when somebody receives this in the mail, they're just going to be um, so thrilled, you know, that the fact that um, it has such a pretty envelope. And these are the other envelopes that come in the kit. You don't need to decorate it because look at that, it comes already decorated. And then it has designs on the inside of the envelope. So overall, this is a very fun, bright, and happy uh, kit. All right, so let's get to making the cards. Put that aside. So this is the first card that we're going to make. Uh, it looks like this, and it says, love you a lot. Love you lots. And these are the pieces that you're going to need to make it. So you're going to need the flirty flamingo base. You're going to need to punch out the hexagon from this part. You're going to need the pandas with the little antenna coming out in the front or in the top. The panda holding um, the little uh, card envelope and the one that says love you lots, right? So easy to put this together. And like I mentioned, this is a non-stamping kit. And so basically what I'm going to be doing is I already put the dimensionals on it and I'm just going to be assembling it. So it makes it really easy um, to work with this for children. Because that's one of the things I've always wanted Stamping Up to do is to make something that's more kid friendly. So that if you have like a birthday party that you want to get your, your daughters or your granddaughters friends together, um, or even the boys, right? Any children's party. Um, they could very easily do this. Okay, and I'm just going to put this down and hopefully align it. Okay. And then I'm going to put my panda. I've already put my dimensionals on it just to make it a little bit easier. And it goes right in the middle. I know the panda looks a little bit weird without uh, her hands, right? But not to worry, once you put all the pieces together, it looks normal. So when you do this part, just make sure it's aligned. You go further, I mean, down enough where the ends of the, see, this one needs to go down a little bit. The ends match the edges of the panda, so it doesn't look weird. Okay. All right. And then she says, love you lots. And it just goes here. And then I'm going to take the embellishments and I'm just going to put some on. Make sure I'm doing the right side here because it's like, oh, I mean, it's not coming off. I'm just going to put three for this card. And really, you can put them anywhere. That's the beauty about these embellishments. There's no right place or wrong place to do it. Just put it wherever it feels right to you. And your card is done. Voila. See, very pretty. And this is, uh, if I didn't already mention it, this is Flirty Flamingo. So this, this is the color that um, this um, card kit uses. Um, you're gonna make eight cards, four of each design. The next card looks like this. This is the slimline card. So to make that card, you're going to need this card base and the three pandas. The hands are all different. Then you're gonna punch this piece out and then it also comes with the uh, conversation bubble that says, hey there. So the pandas, the three pandas, one has the arms um, out extended, the other one has the arms in and the other one has like high five, right? <laughs> okay, let's put this kit, uh, this card together. I'm trying to not um, have the glare be in your face. So that's why I'm keeping, I'm trying to keep something there so that the glare from the light won't bother you. Maybe I'll just move this card and work with it here. That way it's open and it'll block the, the reflection from the light. So um, those of you who are not demonstrators probably don't know, but uh, we are going to be, and when I say we, I mean Stampin' Up! is going to be launching a brand new catalog 
um, in May. And so as demonstrators, we get the chance to pre-order. So if you watched my unboxing, I think I did it, was it yesterday or the day before? You can see some of the goodies that you can order. Lots of really pretty stuff. Now the catalog itself is different from years past. And the reason uh, Stampin' Up! decided to do that was to make it easy for the customers to find the things that, um, that you need. Personally, I like the design of the new catalog. It's very pretty and very user-friendly to me. Okay. All right. So let's go ahead and assemble our pandas. There's three of them. They don't all have to be aligned. You can make them go wherever you want. Just make sure that the one that you put on the left, there's still room for the, uh, the conversation bubble. And let's take out the backing from this. See how easy this is? My goodness, can you imagine having, you know, an afternoon or an evening with kids and putting this together? They have, they'll have so much fun. So these are the slimline cards, or this is the slimline card that you're going to make. Very pretty, right? Right. Okay, but let's not be limited to just what the kid can make. So what I decided to do was make alternatives. I was only able to make three because, you know, like I said, I'm still trying to get my house back in order from the tiling project. I kid you not, you guys, when I came home, the only free space in my house was like a fourth of my dining table where my husband and daughter could eat. Because other than that, things were just all over my house and still are. And so now that the tiling is done, we're starting on uh, the bathroom uh, renovation, which means everything that's in the room next to the bathroom has to be moved out. So even though I cleared out stuff, uh, I made new mess. So <laughs> bear with me when it comes to my crafting because I'm not um, back up to 100%. All right, so let me tell you what I did with these cards. So here, do you remember when I told you that the card front punches out? Let me see if I can find it in the kit because I just kind of threw everything back together in here. So this is what I did. So I took this card front and I made an alternative with it because really, um, you know, when you make the card, you don't need this piece. So you can make it go to another card. So I took that piece, I put it here and then I put, um, a piece of white cardstock underneath. So this is four and it's between the four and four and a quarter. So that would be, gosh, I'm so bad, four and one eighth. So this is four and one eighth. And then this one is between the five and a quarter and five and a half. Okay. I don't remember the exact measurements. I just know it's between those two uh, marks on my, um, on my score. And then I just did the flip side of the bubble because some of them are in different languages and I don't need the other languages. I stamped Hi Friend from one of my older stamps and then I put Happy Birthday and I put a piece of Pool Party in the back. So very simple, but this will make a really great uh, birthday card. Okay, and then here I took the two pieces that I didn't need from the uh, two cards that I made. I stuck them together I cut a four by five and a quarter uh, white cardstock, and then I use, I think this is the splash uh, embossing folder. I don't know if you can see that. I'll make it go up close. I really like the design. So this is not a full embossing folder. It only does part of it, but I think that adds to the beauty of the card. So only part of it is embossed. And then I stamped it your day and then I fussy cut it. So I am not as averse to fussy cutting as I was before. I don't know if you remember that uh, gorgeous uh, designer series paper that we had for celebration, the one with the birds. Oh man, that was so pretty. So um, because of that, I've learned to enjoy fussy cutting. And so this one here, I took the piece that came out and I decided when I do my other card, because even though it looks pretty with three pandas, for this card, you really don't need all three. So I figured I'm going to take one of them out and so I could stretch out my kit. 
So the other cards that I make are not going to have three pandas. Probably only two. And the other one I'll use for an alternative card. And again, I did uh, some embossing. This was the free embossing folder from Celebration. Um, stippled? I think it's stippled something. I stamped Hi Friend and I just put it together. Very simple card, but it works. Okay. And I think that's it. I've shown you all the alternative cards. Um, and then, like I mentioned, this is a really fun and easy kit. And I hope that you consider um, getting this kit for you. And then also, as a quick reminder, um, I, oh, I did it. I need to order it. I need to order the new catalog. So I'll be getting those in a few weeks. And for those of you who are regular customers, you'll get the catalog for free. Or if you place an order with me, you get the, the catalog um, for free. Um, just contact me and we'll figure out a place uh, for you to get it. Otherwise, I'm going to be at Top of the Mar on May 4th and 5th for their Vendor Spring uh, Fair. Um, I should change this. For the Vendor Spring Fair. Um, and I'll have lots of goodies for you to take a look at. Cards, uh, projects, and kits. And also some home decor stuff. So hopefully you'll be able to join me there. And you can also pick up your catalog um, there as well. I think it goes from 9, nine to 3. Don't quote me on that though. Uh, I need to just double check. All right, everyone. Thank you for joining me. Have a wonderful day. Have a wonderful weekend. And I'll catch you next week. Bye. I have to go to my other computer to turn it off. <laughs>